color scheme. Look at that. So bouncy. my third year living in New York, I've learned to really embrace the slow moments I've had living in such a fast-paced city. It's one of the luxuries that I often forget to embrace gratitude for. The city is such a special place, but everyone appears busier than they truly are, making it easy to feel pressure to keep moving. Taking a break and enjoying the quiet in the mornings helps me appreciate the calmness in the city and in myself. It also reminds me to simply enjoy the stage of life I'm in by being more present to appreciate the slowness. I'm gonna do a little grocery haul of some of my favorites and things that I'm really excited to cook in this video. So stay tuned and keep watching. But if you guys haven't heard of Thrive Market before, it's basically an online membership-based grocery store and they have a bunch of organic, sustainable, and healthier options compared to your typical ones. I'm gonna show you with the fan favorite, which all of you guys know are the poppy sodas. And I find that not a lot of grocery stores carry them, especially in packs. So Thrive Market really got me with these. I also got all of the pumpkin related things like this pumpkin pie spice, but there's just like healthier swaps compared to what you typically use in your everyday groceries and your meals. So I also got some organic pumpkin, which I'll be using for my little cold brew. And I really wanted to get into the mood so they have things from food to also cleaning products. Look at this all purpose pumpkin cinnamon spice disinfectant and then this pumpkin cinnamon spice hand wash. So thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. They have such amazing options. Thrive Market is amazing because your order over $49 ships free and if you find another store that has an even lower price, they will match it. Also, they really curate your shopping experience in just a few clicks, so it's super worry-free. You don't have to worry about the rush hour of a grocery store because you just click and order. If you guys are interested, you guys can go to thrivemarket.com slash isbosung for 30% off your first order and a free gift. And everything in my order was literally under 50. So this and also a bunch of other things, but these are the highlight for fall. And yeah, you can link my bio or scan this code and let's continue on with the recipes. Okay guys, this is going to be my own take of a little pumpkin cream cold brew. Look at the orange color scheme. We're gonna take a bowl and we're gonna put a little bit of heavy cream. So I'm gonna say just as much as you want for the topping. So just like a couple, like I wanna say like two tablespoons and then a couple tablespoons of the pumpkin pie spice. And it's actually, I think, this is my first time making it, but it's, Pretty easy to whip up. Oh! I just pumpkin. All over myself. Well, today is not my day. And then let's just do like a tablespoon of this pumpkin. And then we're gonna add a lot of pumpkin spice. And the recipe I think has condensed milk, but I'm going to actually use agave instead, which is a much healthy alternative. And then I'm just gonna blend it and then add things as we go. Look at this color. Mm. Wait, this is actually insane. And it's not too sweet. You can add more agave, but that's only these four ingredients. Okay, now let's make the coffee and then add a scoop of it on top. So I'm going to use this vanilla pod. I made my iced coffee. I low key made a mess. But let's top it with the ingredients because this is the most satisfying part. Oh my gosh, this texture. Stunning. Okay, but if I put a little bit more coffee, like look at that. Wow. That doesn't scream Paul. So let's put our ingredients away and have a moment of truth. By the way, I mean push it to the side. 
all the debt just for this drink, but it's well worth it. Okay, look at this satisfying mix. I'm practically a barista. Mmm. 20 out of 10. That cold cream <laughs> is so good. back and we're gonna continue making the soup. I let this cool and now all of the butternut squash and the pumpkin is roasted so we're going to add this to a pot with sauteed onions. I'm really going all Martha Stewart right now but actually not Martha Stewart. I'm really go, going all Mr. Sun. So I'm actually gonna just slice some onions because instead of roasting in the oven it makes it a lot more aromatic when you just like caramelize them for a bit and after that i'm gonna scoop the innards of the pumpkin with the rest of the soup All my ingredients from left to right I minced garlic onions rosemary sage and minced ginger since we only use a little bit for the pumpkin cream cold brew I'm going to also add this and I'm sure it's gonna make it like really sweet and even more delicious pour these remnants inside. I tried to peel off all the skin, but some of it was a little bit hard, but this one was so easy and the flavor is insane. I would eat this plain. That's how good it is. We're gonna add some chicken broth. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, you can use vegetable broth. You can also add water. So I'm just gonna add a little bit so it doesn't take away. And I'm just gonna cover the ingredients with everything inside. So I'm gonna let that boil for a little bit and I can take out my hand blender because we can pretty much just start blending it and then we can add a little bit of heavy cream. Low key, I am winging this recipe, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Now that it's all blended, we have this consistency. And the reason why you add butternut squash is because kabucha squash, when you just blend that, it becomes really grainy. So that's why it's best to peel the skin, but I had some trouble. But once I blended it, it's fine. Like it just adds a little bit of texture. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna add some fresh sage and rosemary. I'm just gonna let it boil for probably like two, three hours. I'm adding the rest of this pumpkin inside, but it just looks so stunning, the color. And I'm gonna add a dash of heavy cream as well so we can just add to the consistency as my soup boils let's clean up the kitchen and be productive so cozy and so delicious and I have a whole pot a whole pot of pumpkin soup pumpkin kabucha squash butternut squash soup mm. 
So I'm about to head out the house <laughs> in this very fun coat. I'm wearing a little set under from Peachy Den and this jacket's from Charlotte Simone. I'm obsessed with it for fall and winter. I'm deciding, I'm deciding what boots to wear. So I have these like vintage Balenciaga boots I thrifted in Paris or I have like these Gucci knee boots that I got when I was in Italy. What do we think? This boot or this boot? Obviously the shorter boot because the skirt is so long. I might like fold it so the skirt doesn't like extend too much. We're gonna go out and meet my friend Julie to have dinner at one of my favorite cozy Italian restaurants in New York. Besides Don Angie, this is my second favorite. guys i just got back from dinner lilia was so fucking good the caramelized onion ravioli was insane so if you ever go get that it changed my mind i mean blew my mind <laughs> so it wouldn't be fall if i didn't have a bethany mona core brandy melville fall haul and girl i have not shopped there in a long time but let me tell you some isa core okay back in the day Way, way back in the day, middle school, when I was 11, my dad called them and asked them if they could hire me, okay, for free. Because he was like, that's what I did in the restaurant industry. And I was like, I was like, dad, I don't think they're going to hire me. I'm not like there. They don't hire interns like that. Fast forward, when I lived in Taipei, back in the day, Brandy Mel, we used to have sales. I would mass order specific things. I would sell them for original price or more in Taipei because those middle schoolers and high schoolers were eating Brandy Mel up. So I actually had a business back in the day and her name was Closet Buffet. <laughs> Fast forward again. This is the timeline, okay? In college, I worked there when I was a freshman and I got the job. So actually, full circle moment, I did end up getting hired. Anyway, now that I'm 24, I can afford to buy whatever the fuck I want. So here's something that's gonna heal my inner child because girl, Bethany Moda was rocking those California John Galt tees and this is the fall haul. Insert clapping. <laughs> So this is the first thing, classic sweatshirt. And my first sweatshirt from them was actually one that said Bay Area and I still have it to this day, but it's like the baggiest, comfiest fit. So I got this hoodie and I actually got it matching with my brother's, but I needed to differentiate mine cause I'm, cause I'm not a man. So mine's a 20, 28. They're a hoodies hoodie, but yeah, it just looks so comfy. So like at the airport, I like to just throw it on. I actually went crazy. I went absolutely crazy on the hoodies. But this one is not as oversized as the previous. It's like the perfect length because when you wear low rise jeans, it'll like just hit, at, I'm like laying like this. It'll like just hit at your hip. Okay, next, I got some really comfy lounge pants. And it just has a stripe on the side. Like I have the same sweats that I got from them when I used to work there. So for over five years now. And then, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Ah! Okay, these also have really good stretch. These are like really comfy pajama pants and they're stripes. So I just think this is super cute. Next, I got another pair of pants, but these ones have like a little button seam in the front. They're also eyelet gray. So it's giving more like of a cuckoo intimates moment. And, oh, we actually, childhood me would be so happy to see an Asian girl doing a brand new mobile haul because I used to watch them all the time. And this is the hoodie that I got for my brothers that doesn't have anything on the back, but it's because they kind of share clothes, so. And then the very last thing I got is a top. I find that when I get tops, I just like can't ever let them go. So I just have basics, brand new basics that are over 10 years old. So I just don't buy tops from them anymore because I still wear the same ones to bed. But this one's kind of cute and I feel like ringer tees are coming back. I used to have the one with the alien patch on it. Plus, it's just cute. I don't know. I like it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. It's very fall. And let's bring back the Bethany Moda energy. 
so I've just showered, but I'm pretty much getting ready for bed, doing my skincare routine. But anyway, guys, I feel like I haven't really gotten to talk to you in a long time because everything has been kind of go, go, go in the recent vlogs. So to be honest with you, I feel like I personally get bored really easily and I feel like a lack of productivity when my life isn't constantly speeding and I'm not always in go, go, go mode. So I've kind of projected that onto my videos and I feel like it's made my life seem very surface level. So I haven't been able to just like slow down so that I, I could actually talk to you you know what i mean but yeah i'm definitely someone who like kind of overthinks things so like when i'm watching myself and replaying me talking i like i want to cut things out i'm like this is not interesting nobody cares so i end up just like leaving you guys with things that are like self-explanatory does that make sense my therapist told me that there's been so much growth because i can finally take a step back and slow down so that's what i'm trying to do also totally forgot i'm doing my skincare that's why i'm putting my hair back what i like to use is the beauty of joseon cleansing oil and also this cleansing balm this is the bomb.com and then when i come out the shower i use this to get the mascara off my eyelids and this has literally helped me so much yeah but i'm just trying to slow down and channel that with you guys so that I can actually show less action and have more heart to hearts because I wanna do like another Q&A session. It can be about life, it can be about girl bossing, it can be career related. And I feel like kind of answer in like a column in a sex in the city way, like an ask Isa thing. So you guys should comment down questions you wanna ask. This is the Tatcha Silk Serum and then the Tear Tear Ceramic Milk Ampoule Ampoule. But this just leaves my skin feeling so bouncy. And then I like how it dries and like doesn't stick to the pillow. But I wanna get clean catch up and not like overthink what I'm putting out. So these are some of the best eye creams I've used. I feel like they're kind of on the pricier side. So a good alternative would be Then I Met You. It's like a blue one, but I use it all the time in my travels. But for at home, these are like two bougie eye creams I use because I feel like I get the most stressed about my under eyes. So I'll use, I'll, I'll treat myself like once a week and then use the Chanel eye cream that they sent me and I'm savoring it so that I don't run out. I am a genius and I finally turned on the light switch but this is what my skincare looks like. I'm gonna still put on a little lip mask. It's just super glowy and you can see the difference after a layer on the K-Beauty and let's just get ready for bed, change my sheets and get into the fun mood. Hi guys! I thought it would be fun to change out my sheets and I just washed these so they smell like a dead cool milk detergent and we're gonna change them into these green sheets because i've had these for a while and i just love how it looks in the fall i don't know how to describe it like changing your sheets is the best feeling so we're gonna do that we're gonna switch out the bed cover and the pillowcases and everything so get ready for fall and get in the mood <laughs> Warmer and a little lamp. I'm excited to show you guys. My boyfriend's opening it right now as a surprise. Oh, <laughs> Wait! Oh, it comes with a light bulb, thank God. Do you like it? I like it. Look, I have the perfect candle to go with it. Look what it says. Autumn vibes. <laughs> Okay, you guys, let's get ready for all of the autumn vibes. You guys know I love my candle warmers because they're just so much better than regular lights and better than lighting a regular candle because it evenly melts the candle wax. The switch is in my hand. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, look at that. Excuse me, I'm gonna add little things to put next to my nightstand. Thank you. 
you guys so much for tuning into this vlog. I have so much fun filming around themes of like the weather and cooking fall recipes, getting cozy. So just wanted to say thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the above. And if you're watching this, comment Miffy. <laughs> okay, good night guys. Love you.